Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lee Ann. Actually guys, I'm so much excited to share to you our Taiwan trip last week. Kaso medyo naging busy yung schedule natin at work and nag-start na rin yung master uh, class namin na pang 5th sem na kami. And also, medyo na obsessed or nahilig ako sa panonood ng Netflix na Money Heist. So, nawala na ako ng time in editing the vlog. Guys, sa vlog na ito, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga places na pinuntahan namin, yung uh, estimated na budget or ginastos namin during this trip, and then also yung mga suggestions and recommendations ko when going to Taiwan. If you wanted to see our Taiwan trip, please keep on watching. So, here is the reason why I rewind this scene. Ito, yung nag state ng oras dun sa pathway nung airport papunta dun sa gate 102. So, unfortunately guys, at nakakayaman sabihin, nasaraduhan kami ng gate papunta sa gate 113. So, originally guys, ang gate na naka-state dun sa boarding pass namin is 102. Pero, unfortunately, Sabi nga ni Air Asia, nagpalit daw sila ng gate into 113. So, yung distance from the 102 to 113 is around, I think, 10 to 15 minutes yung uh, span nung pag-travel mo from 102 to 113. So, uh, actually guys, may mali din naman sa part namin. Because in the boarding pass, naka-state doon is, you should be at the gate uh, stated in your boarding pass 30 minutes before your uh, flight time or boarding time pero uh, due to nagpalit sila ng gate at hindi siguro namin narinig yung announcement via dun sa speaker, fo speaker nila is we have to travel dun papunta sa 102 which is the original gate and then Doon namin nakita na nagpalit pala si Air Asia ng 113. So we have to travel back to 113. So what's disappointing about it is maga kaming gumising guys. Maga kaming pumunta sa airport, nakapag-check-in, and then nakapagpunta sa immigration. And then we even took our breakfast in Starbucks. Unfortunately, Pagdating namin sa 113, which is the new and correct uh, gate na ni Air Asia, it's around 7.42 or 7.41, I think. And yung naka-state sa boarding pass is 7.45. So, when we arrive at the gate 113, sarado na yung gate. Tapos, wala nang passengers na naghihintay doon. So, we approach yung representative from Air Asia at sabi nga, hindi na daw kami pwede. And they mentioned na trinay daw nilang tawagan yung pilot, I think, or in charge dun sa plane at hindi na daw po pwede. So, nakiusap naman kami guys, pero unfortunately, we were uh, declined. So, what we did was to bumalik ulit kami sa umpisa and then we tried to search for the next earliest flight papuntang Taiwan. 
So when we arrive in the boarding, I no, in the check-in counter again, ang pinaka uh, earliest flight na mapuntang Taiwan is il around 11 in the evening. So you see, guys, from 7:45 a.m. Napunta sa 11 o'clock flight ng gabi. So, we even asked the representative in the check-in counter kung uh, paano mangyayari. So, ang nangyari is, na forfeit yung unang flight namin, papuntang Taiwan, which is the morning flight. And then, we have to pay, 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 pay uh, half ng one-way ticket each uh, para sa rebooking. So, I think kung isa ka lang, okay lang eh. Kasi parang half ng price ng one way. Pero, knowing na apat kami, so medyo naging mataas or pricey siya. So, nag-check na rin kami guys ng other flight na mas mabilis or mas maaga sa other airline. But, upon checking, I have to pay the full uh, one way fare of each of us. So, medyo, pag ikinompare mo dun sa rebooking ni Air Asia, mapapamahal ka kung pipili ka pa ng other flight. Yung mga booking namin, uh, in sa Kluk, uh, yung iba, na, naggawa namin ng paraan, like yung, uh, yung train, yung wifi router, nakuha pa naman namin siya. Pero yung, yung mga activities, like yung Taipei 101, hindi na siya pwede i-cancel, guys. So, sa Kluk, uh, once na na-confirm nyo na yung booking ninyo, tapos the same day, yung activity nyo, and then you have to rebook it the next day, parang hindi na yata allowed, or you have to contact straight dun sa mismong establishment or activity na uh, nakuha ninyo. Hindi na siya dadaan kay Kluk. Sabi ni Kluk, ang recommendation or advice nila, we have to go directly to, kunyari kay Taipei 101, doon na kami magda-direct para if we can still rebook it on the next day or on the next time. So guys, isipin nyo, for a, for a 3-day itinerary namin, kailangan namin squeeze in, in, in into a 2-day, uh, 2 days na lang yung punta namin sa Taiwan. So nag-push pa rin kami guys kasi um, first and foremost, this is the first out of the country trip para sa parents ko. And this is the first time na makakasay si mama ng airplane. So, saka sayang na rin guys yung mga booking na na kuha namin like the hotel, the other activities sa club. So, we push through it. So, luckily, uh, nakapag-rebook nga kami ng around 11pm and then we have to uh, bumalik ulit kami sa bahay kasi me medyo matagal pa yung yung haantay namin eh, from I think natapos kami ng rebooking ng around 9.30 tapos 11 yung susunod na flight, so umuwi muna kami and then uh, we come back na lang para dun sa 11pm namin na flight, so if you want to see what happened next in our trip, guys please keep on watching
few moments later. Video, so please pay attention to this video because we're gonna have an exam at the end of the video. Alright? Now go go video, my shall find don't tell your papa and
<laughs> Say something about yourself. Ano masasabi mo sa stay mo dito sa Taiwan? Bitin. Bitin. Bakit? Si Nag enjoy ka ba? Pabalik ka pa. Yeah. <laughs> Bibi, ang uh, tayo ang team walang food. <laughs> Mahal ba dito? <laughs> Pero sulit. Sweet, sweet. Okay. Bye! <laughs>